Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back coming in the colony section yet again for another Buttercat first person shooter of the campaign maps. That's right, we are going to do the Compound FPS Edition. Uh, this is my second time recording. My first one got a little stuttery in the middle, uh, so I'm going to try and re-record it just so you are aware. But let's go over the map itself. This time we can't walk in the void. Very big shame. It would be super handy to walk in the void. There isn't too much void other than there, but it would be kind of nice. Uh, let's give it a go, though. We have some uh, many, many skimmers. Many annoying, annoying skimmers. Plenty of blobs. We do have evil friendos. Uh, not skimmer friendos, though. Don't have skimmer friendos. Just super evil friendos. It is uh, fairly wild, though. It's gonna get. It's gonna get fun. Lots of emitters, and these emitters are uh, 25 every 0.1 seconds. They're quite strong in the grand scheme of things. You know two and a half times stronger than a standard emitter so yeah big big fun let's check out our upgrades and this is going to be the interesting thing because normally what do i do go straight for auto spray uh and you know that's sort of uh the thing that we normally do or not auto spray well we tend really go for auto spray but we also go for the ac breeder right away we're not doing that this time no 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 we are going for what are we going for we're gonna go with nearby nope fabrication aura Boom. And we're also going to upgrade our fabricator because, you know, what? we have a lot of things to build. A lot of things to build. So, you know, what? I definitely want to get that going. So fabricator uh, power. There we go. Let's do it. And after that, we will go with our standard affair of the AC breeder. Yes, we will get our auto spray. Yes. Uh, and, you know, we're just going to get all the auras. I love the auras. All the auras are good. So, not... Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, we are going to go with the Mortar, of course. Should have done that earlier. Perfectly fine. We'll get the rest of the auras, too. Uh, nearby Urn, already queued. So, we'll go with Evaporation. Beautiful. And last but not least, we're going to get the Shield. So, that will be our upgrades for a little while. Let's just get going and see how we do. So, Bazinga Bazanga, let's start fabricating. Because, you know what, we do not have, ooh, and even turn on our auto fire, of course. So we have our fabricator, or we have our fabricator up and running. Let's try and get some power to our friends, because they are going to need it, you know. They don't have that much juice in the bank right now, so we are clearly going to need to assist in building all the things. Now we're going to try and assist in building, because, you know what, the more we assist with, the more they can, you know, spread out their juice to other things, building new things all of the good things let's just get this going we have our body that's going to be fabricating which is grand uh we have our gun that's going to be fabricating and we are just going to worry about this above all else for the near future we're just going to move slowly because our body will be fabricating and our gun is going to be shooting as well so i'm trying not to move too fast just trying to sort of walk along the edge uh, as you can see, the deficit is still relatively high. Let's try and get the wall built, though. I think while I do want to get, like, the miner at the back built up, I think just getting the wall for some standard defenses will probably help a bit more in the long term. Uh, some things have been lost. Uh, I don't know what things, but we got, a, we got a point of power there, so I am quite happy with that. We can even help build... Ooh, earn port? Don't mind if I do. Grab that. Oh, uh, look at that. Already charging up. Fantastic. Gonna grab all of the miners. That should hopefully help out. And you know what? We need to build this Air Force because, you know, they are super power hungry. And clearly, you know, we can build it better than the actual base, right? So let's uh, let's get that going happily, happily, happily. Uh, use our gun. Ooh, what is dying so much? I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's the wall, so I'm quite okay with that. Uh, we're going to stay here with these, uh, with the airships for now, because you know what? We can also charge up the ammo really, really quickly. That way the deficit will sort of drop precipitously, I hope, uh, from the main base. So once all the ammo is pretty much sorted, then I think we're going to go on the offensive. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Let's try, let's try and sneak a point or two right away. Look at that. We have a free point just sitting there. You know we want free points. Uh, they're the, they're, free is always the good thing. And look at that. We can... Ooh, I was hoping to supercharge some of these. Uh, because you know what? We, ha we have the improved fabricator. We should use the improved fabricator, of course. So let's see. Can we get any more cannons down below? Because you know what? That's going to just hold the line. So we'll use our fabrication... 
and just hold the line. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. And you know what? Let's see if we can just hold the entirety of the line. It looks like we are building cannons right at the base. So we'll we'll grab some upgrades. We'll build up the base. It's going to hold itself. You know, it's, it's a good combination, really. So I very much would rather have the, uh, the base hold itself than me have to worry about it. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Although we have some things coming for us already. That is, of course... Ooh, look at... See, this side did grand. Holy moly. I love it. I love it. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, no, we do have Auto Breeder. Auto Breeder is down. Glorious, glorious, glorious. So, yeah, we're already Auto Breeding away. Uh, gotta love it. And you know what? Let's uh, see if we can get this bad boy some ammo. Because we're gonna earn him. Uh, this bad boy can start killing off... Look at how many, like, the inf infestation... Oh, it's so painful. So let's let's make sure this can just shoot all it needs to. Uh, see, they, we can't really go over there quite yet with so many of these evil friendos in our way. Uh, but we can we can work on it. We can work on it. Ooh, there's a free upgrade. Yes, please don't mind if I do times two. All right, all right. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Give me that free upgrade point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? While that's going, uh, let's try and shut off this mesh too you know? Mesh is uh, never a good thing. Uh, and having that shut off will, will just help, I think. I think it'll just help the front lines just that little bit. Uh, looks like we are killing some of the little friendos down there, though, so I am a big fan of that. And, ooh, blobs cometh. Oh, we got skimmed. Of course we got skimmed. That's just how it tends to work. But that's okay, because you know what? We're still doing fine. Oof, gosh. <laughs> These things are really, really annoying. There are a lot of them, and I really hope that this gun is able to just start thinning the herd. Because once they're thin, we can actually move over to the top, and you know? Being on top feels pretty good right about now, you know? We don't want, we don't want to be on the bottom right now. We want to be on the top. Get that high ground advantage. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with being on the bottom, you know? I mean, sometimes that's where you want to be. Uh, so we can try and get more and more snipers going. The more snipers we have right now, the more they're taken care of. And we're even going to move over so we can drop our AC over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I think, I think we've made land. You know, look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, the entire front line is holding so nicely. So I think we're going to try and use this to our advantage, right? We're going to try and start busting in, taking the high ground. Uh, moving along. Does the Fabricator build that up? It does not. It does not. Fabricator does not build totems. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, you know, it would be nice if it did. Wouldn't be. It's not, you know, the be-all end-all, of course. It's just one of those things that would be, that's kind of nice. What's also nice is that power right there. I think, I think that is looking pretty nice to me, if you ask me. So let's try and, uh, thin out some of this creep and get to it, right? So if we can thin some of this out, the left side should actually be thinning out naturally uh, because we're sort of cutting out some of its connecting points, so to speak. And yeah, look at this. We have, uh, we've built a little bit of a shelter, right? I mean, our fabrication aura should be helping go strong. Oh no, but there's blobs. There's blobs. They come with, uh, super sniper. Go. Oh, double super sniper. Yes, please. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And getting double snipers there is fantastic. Plus, our urn aura is even better. Oh, you cannot beat it. You cannot beat it. And, yeah, feels feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. I think we've handled most of the little things for now. But they will get in the way. Now, I do hope uh, that this is running relatively smooth. I should take a step back, though. Because it does seem like when there is a lot of stuff going on, that this map does not handle for my recording. So, I'm taking a little step back, and we shall see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But, looks like, you know, we're holding the land pretty, pretty well. There we go. Good, 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 good. And we can even start working our way to officially getting this point of power. So, zap, zounds, and, yeah, all good things with that. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Ooh, we lost both of our snipers there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We somehow lost both of our snipers, but that's okay. Look, we're already almost to an emitter. It is right there. 
we can sort of already see it, and you know, oh, it's not as deep as I thought. So let's uh, let's just make sure we can handle it. And handle it, we can, of course. Uh, let's make sure our friendos are shooting to the max, as they do. And yeah, we're just gonna use our friends, and we're just gonna plow into things relatively well. I mean, look at this. We're already isolating just this amount. We've taken out pretty much all the mesh. Uh, friendos are going down. Cannons are going up, which will be able to just help defend, of course. And there's an nullifier. Ooh, it feels so good to get a nullifier. And yeah, we built it. Nullifier up and operational. Although unfortunately, those those things are coming in hot. You know, we need we need to get some snipers to defend at this point. Uh, yeah, this is this is not going as well as I had hoped. Oh, and we got skimmed. Of course, we get skimmed. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You know, the skims happen. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I do want to take out those evil friendos, but at the moment, I'm kind of more concerned with other things. Because right now, if we were to, say, go over here and free that sniper, like, that sniper might be all we need in order to, uh, to kill the friendos off before they get to that area, right? So let's see if we can free this sniper and use that to our advantage. Interesting, interesting. Uh, we still have zero upgrade points, which means all of our upgrade points are being currently used, which is fantastic. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. And this sniper, this is what I hope. I hope this sniper will just start taking care of those friendos. And if it does, it prevents them from going over there. Oh, there's a sniper over there. Oh, wow, we even got a sniper over there. Well, look at that. Uh, what do you know? You just can't see everything all the time. But I think, I think we got the nullifier going, so... Eh, maybe not, but we will. We will. Uh, it looks as though we are taking this area out quite nicely. And without this mesh, uh, I think we're going to push straight up to the front on this side as well. So we're really pushing pretty hard when you think about it. You know, we're pushing on multiple fronts right now. Uh, let's make sure this emitter is handled, so to speak. Uh, get it nice and done. Feel pretty good about that, and let's uh, let's go over to this corner and start a new assault point, right? Because we can join our assault points together, which will feel really nice. And yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna do good work. I uh, think we probably have our shield at this point, which will be pretty good for us. Should hopefully protect against a large number of things. Doesn't necessarily protect against that. And because of the skimmers, we are losing ground over there. So, and we can, I know we can get this nullifier now. So let's make sure we get this nullifier. It's time. You know, I was just try trying to connect everything up, but you know what? We're just gonna beef it up ourselves. Look, 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 look. Fully charged. Oh, so close. It really, really wanted to get back up, but we did not allow it. And now the connection between the two zones already happening. You know, it's already happening. Feels really, really good, which means... Ooh, ooh, that was an egg, I think. Gotta hate the eggs. But that's okay, because look, we have taken another point of power. Another emitter is right here. Uh, and that's what we're working towards right now, right? We, ha we have some units already up top. We have the uh, forces coming in. So I'm not super, super worried about this emitter right now. I think, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, I do need to be putting down my uh, my goo on the ground, my AC breeder at the moment, way more than I have been. But you know what? Hey, for now, things are okay. Uh, the real key is that we handle the friendos, and look at this. We have a nullifier up top. It is so kind of Buttercat to put them up top, uh, because, you know, we could have to clear out all the way down below and next to it, and eggs are popping. Ugh, gross. Eggs, get out of here. Stop it, eggs. Uh, but that's perfectly fine, because look at that. We've cleaned this up, which means this entire area is now going to be nice and clean for everything to move up. Oh, it's so good. So good. We even have an upgrade point. Ooh. I like... Ooh, we have some creep that came down the side. Interesting. Uh, I do like the thought of an upgrade point right now, although I'm kind of feeling like I either want to go for the cannon upgrade or a super weapon. And 
since we did not get rain last time... Oh, please, please. Alright, get your ammo, shoot them down, please. We really need them shot down. Uh, little friendos are causing all sorts of problems for us right now, and I do not like it. Uh, I kind of want a super weapon, you know? Maybe we go with rain this time, though, because we went with the singularity conversion last time, just to change it up. Just to change it up. Not necessarily because it's better or worse or anything like that, but, you know, sometimes it's good just to change things up, you know? So, we're gonna beef these boys up so they can shoot the friends, though, because that's what's causing all the problems for us in the world. Is these, these little bugs coming on and uh, just hurting us. You know, they're shooting their little lasers. Their lasers are hitting pretty hard. And, you know, that's that's never a fun time. Here, stay fully charged up. There we go. And maybe we'll even grab an upgrade point. We'll give you some AC as well. So, we need six six upgrade points for the, uh, for the rain, though. So, you know, we have a bit. We have a bit. It's a fair bit. Uh... No rush, as it were. But that's okay, that's okay, because, you know, these upgrade points are a common. Look at that. Uh, free upgrade right there. Boop, boop, boop. Come on. And we're going towards another emitter, of course. So, look at how deepeth this creepeth is. So we need to definitely, definitely take care of that. So, this corner, definitely... Like, if I had rain right now, just raining over there, oh, it'd be so pretty. Uh, but that's okay, because we also have an emitter right there that you can see the, the peak of. So let's let's just shut that down. You know, get this emitter shut down. It'll feel really, really good. Uh, hopefully the skimmers are sort of being deflected by our shields a bit. That'll be quite nice. And it looks like we're finally starting to make some progress over here. Right? I mean, it is shooting out creep very, very quickly, but we've really taken down the main threshold of creep. So it's not necessarily... Ooh, that is quite the beast as well, you say. Perfectly. Ooh, oh, see, look at that stash, too. Man, there's just so much creep over here. It is insanity. We really could use some uh, more support from our units, I think. So maybe we'll try and clear off some of this top ground, see if we can grab a couple more mortars or something like that. You know, try and... I wanted to do AC. <laughs> that was my mistake, but that's fine. Grab the shield, grab this mortar. That's definitely going to help, uh, of course. And again, keep the emitter down. Drop more AC, as it's our active power. And yeah, it feels, feels pretty good still. So this will also get us a nice little sniper perch, which is going to be important. Because I think, as we just saw, those friendos cometh for us. So, Bazinga, keep that charged. And we want to keep it healthy, too. But if that thing does take out... Or, uh, we just don't have the juice for it. Although, that might keep it alive and able to shoot, oddly enough. So, this might be what we need. Now, it is keeping it alive. They are shooting pretty good, which is awesome. Alright, and now we're going to stand back and shoot with the mortar. Now that we've sort of handled all the little things, they will probably die? Maybe, maybe not? Ooh, they did not. That is fantastic. you got to love it. That worked out so, so well. Uh, and they have ammo. They are able to shoot things. Oh, that skimmer is going to cause some problems, of course. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, our AC is starting to, to win the day. And... Oh, look at the units over there. Oh, I want that corner so very badly. Ooh, taking a little damage ourselves, but... Okay, okay, okay. We're feeling real good about this corner, right? If we can juice up some of these, get them built, they should be able to help hold and sustain themselves, which is awesome. So then we can grab a couple more mortars. We can come over here grab even more mortars. Uh, a corner of mortars is going to do so good. Yes, 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 yes. Blow all of your mortar load right onto this. And that's going to feel just so good for the rest of time. Alright, so we're, we're, we're handling it. It's definitely not the best of ways to go, maybe. But I think we're doing pretty good. Question is, where is the nullifier for this thing? 
Uh, we are making more units, though. Again, this was definitely a combination of us and them. Oh, no. Friendos. Friendos hurt. All right. That's fine. We are almost to the friendos, though, and that is something that is super important. Uh, ooh, okay. Too much there. Too much going on. Uh, and bring... Ooh, the... Oh, the nullifier was right there! Oh, we got nullification. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so immense that... Oh, I, I'm just I'm just so happy right now. I didn't even see that nullifier. How did, how did I miss that nullifier? That is amazing. So with that in mind, we now have a stranglehold here, right? I mean... Yeah, they're going to keep shooting those little friendos out. They're going to keep blowing stuff up, because that's what they do. But we have the units. I don't... Oh, this is producing because it is... Uh, every 30 seconds, this produces... I was like, what is keeping the creep on this? Oh, skimmers. Skimmers, no! So we're actually getting to the point where we might actually take out an entire side, which is actually pretty exciting. If we can get rid of a couple of these... Uh, eggs, which I think we just did. We might have taken the side, which is huge if you ask me, right? I mean, right there. Toss down some AC. We'll even drop our breeder. I wanted the breeder. I thought the breeder was... Oh, no! Yeah, that should be the side. No problemo. Done, done, done. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's gonna get us this nullifier, which will be the... The friendo nullifier? Hopefully. Zap. No more friends. Okay. Whew. It's sad. You know, no more friends is a sad thing. But you know what? Sometimes it's it's just what's needed. You know, we've gotten rid of the friends here. We've taken over the side. It feels really, really good. Uh, we have an upgrade point just sitting right here. So let's try and take over the center platform. Uh, it's even easier because we took out that emitter over there. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be... It's going to be good for business. Uh, we are currently at two upgrade points. It's still not that many in the grand scheme of things. So we have plenty, plenty still to go. Uh, but these upgrades will be good, and we'll grab another emitter over here. Uh, yeah, I think we can just go... Whoa, that's a big down. <laughs> kind of fun when you think about it. But this, honestly, this emitter already looks like it's just so much easier than the one we literally just took, right? I mean, this is basically nothing in comparison. So, oh, and there's the... We already have the nullifier. And it's alive. And it's charged. Boom. Yeah, that one, much easier. Much, 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 much easier. Kinda probably should have started with that one. But that's okay. That's okay. Just playing around, having fun. And that's what this map is all about, you know? I think the first, the FPS maps, they're just about having a good time, trying to trying new things, seeing what's up. And how are we doing upgrade-wise? We currently have five. We need one more point. Guess what we just got? We just got one more point. So uh, let us grab a rain. Because, again, we did the singularity uh, conversion last time, so we're going to go with rain. Uh, so there we go. Let's uh, swap to it because it's ready and just drop it over there. I... Oh my gosh, did I put it outside of the map? <laughs> okay, so it is literally where it's pointing, not like the peaks of where it's pointing. That is the, the proest of plays that I've ever done. Uh, feels really, really bad to do that. But you know what? It's done. It happened. That was my fault. Uh... We get to watch it, at least. And doesn't that feel good? Uh, let's let's find where our nullifier is. Is it over here? Doesn't quite look like it. Is it on the other side? Quite possibly. Uh, but let's also charge these up because you know what? They're gonna they're gonna be able to do some damage. Again, we are doing a, a nice combination between the two. You know, it's us and them. It's not us versus them. So let's go over here and let's take out this other side. Uh, there's the nullifier we've been looking for. There you go. So, charge it on up. Zip, zap, zap, and nullified. Easy peasy. And that's most of the creep done. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's most of the creep done. Uh, we have the other side completed, which is fine. Uh, problem, problematically now, is just the fact that 
yeah, we we just wasted our our good rain on uh, on on a whole lot of nothing. So feel a little bad about that. But there goes the other set of friendos. So rain will be ready in 30 seconds. So we will get one more rain in. Oh, and they they did destroy the smell of fire. Boo. That's fine. We'll get it up. We have so many snipers here. We can easily handle things. Oop, there. Ooh, that is a very... <sighs> of course. Of course that happens. So let's let's just take out everything over here. Because uh, everything is super stunned anyway. We'll take out whatever is doing that monstrous amount of creep. Holy moly. Uh, cannot gonna, not going to worry about that right now. Look at it all. It's just so massive. Whew. But you know what? I'm guessing it's eggs being popped consistently. Uh, so let's grab our rain. You know what? Let's just put the rain there, because that can breed. Look at that. And this will be... Yeah, this is... I probably should have popped it on the eggs. Uh, but I figured pop it on the breeder, because that is actually generating creep. And... Yeah, there we go. This should activate again. And this will allow this side to be cleansed of the green. So, a nice little cleansing. Feels kind of good as well. There we go. No more breeding. This side is done. For the most part. Uh, just a little bit left. And then all... I, th I think we are in the final... You know, the final rounds, the final bits. Zap, zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. Zap, 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 zap. Nice and easy. Oh my, oh my. We are down to the last few nullifications, and they will happen very, very soon. Look at that aggressive, aggressive nullifier. You gotta love it that they're willing to do that. So, and it's working, you know? I was gonna try and supercharge it, but I think just destroying this egg creep is far more effective. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I always like when you move backwards, you can sort of see like a Z. Like, see how the uh, mortar like shoots down or forward and then up? It's kind of neat. It's a neat little, uh, neat little touch. But these eggs. Four, three, two, one. No more eggs. No more things that need to be nullified. Just a tiny bit of creep. And this has been the compound FPS edition. You know, just because you're here, there we go. Charge them up. And that is, as they say, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Let's get going. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care.